Good morning. We're here at Pillows and Toast Heritage Hostel in Singapore. We are all so tired. We had the best, 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 best two nights of Passover Seder with the Chabad Lubavitch here in Singapore. Such nice people, such beautiful people, such great ruach, such great spirit, uh, such passion, um, such joy in what they do. Um, you know, taking the Chabad um, into a more of a missionary um, role. And I saw that in Houston as well, that the Chabad wasn't like we're a closed community getaway. It's, hey, come, learn, be a part of our joy, be attracted to the light that we see. Um, you know, come be educated and learn from, from what we do and we believe in. And really beautiful. I mean, I loved it because Chabad is... You're very orthodox, so you would think, oh, you know, only Jews, not not non-Jews. There were tons of people there that their spouses or partners were, um, or friends that were with them were Asian, non-Jews, Buddhist, whatever they were. And I loved that. It was like a very all-inclusive evening. Like anyone who wants to come and be a part of the festivities, come do that. Um, which is not your, it's not intuitive to Orthodox Judaism to say, oh, we're all welcome. It was, um, it's awesome. It's very, very smart outreach. Um, so I appreciate that. I saw that in the Chabad here last night. It was just beautiful how many, um, how mixed the crowd was. Um, and then you see like these children, which is even more beautiful because you have tons of the Jewish um, men who had married Asian women. Um, mostly, that was the combination. So you see tons of these mixed children who are just beautiful. Huh? You got the theater? No. Um, and we're just tired. Yeah, we're all just kind of off. Um, Dania was playing with her dolls. Sulai is making a salad. Um, Ozzy's freaking out. They all just want to hang on the computer. And Mom is saying, no, um, that's not what you do to really boredom every day. Um, we had two days of nonstop computer oh, we monopoly. We'll see. Okay. Um, but it just like now they're like, oh, it's, it's all we got to do. And I'm like, no, you don't. You remember that we raised you to be bored, to enjoy playing solitary play, play with your dolls, play with your Lego, play with, um, yeah, read a book. <gasps> My God, read a book? What are you talking about? Who does that anymore, right? So, you know, we're dealing with the normal, Mom, I want what flashes and glitters, and Mom is saying, no, I believe in an unmodern childhood. You do not need to be plugged in at all times. You don't have to be entertained at all times. I'm very happy to have you bored. I would love to see you work through that boredom and find what you want to do. Um, so that's what we're dealing with today. Still really tired. Like we wanted to go out again today and do stuff. There's so much to do in Singapore. So many cool things to see. And we just need a day. It's like we, you know, the, two nights ago we went to sleep, all of us, at 3 a.m. Last night we went to bed, what was it, at 1? One? 1-ish, one 1.30. So it's like, okay, we just need a day to chill. Um, and it's funny because like we like, oh, there's so much in Singapore, let's do every day something. And like literally we could every day do something and not see it all. There's so much to do, do here in two weeks, two and a half weeks is not enough. But it's like, okay, we just, no, <laughs> let's just chill, let's just lay back. So I think we're going to probably chill all day. Um, and then Salai's making us that, yay. I think we're going to chill all day and then maybe go out for early dinner take a walk, take an early dinner, maybe, you know, explore a little bit. We're tired, you know, another thing which we're really enjoying is we're walking tons everywhere we can. We're not taking cabs and buses, economical, and also just to move ourselves and see Singapore. And it's a pleasure just to walk in the streets here. Um, just keep finding lovely little fountains and surprises and beautiful architectured buildings and, you know, suddenly a building with like a garden on the 15th floor and just, it's just cool. It's like a very different environment for us. So we're walking tons. Um, anyway, I think we're going to do an early dinner and then make it an early night. Um, Kobe got us popcorn. Maybe we'll do a movie night, but like a really early movie night. We'll see. And then tomorrow we're out moving again. Um, changing hostels. Oh, I don't want to leave. Pillows and Toast Heritage. Um, yeah, so things are great. Passover was beautiful. It was a really gorgeous experience, which is really nice. Our first Passover was spent in Houston, Texas, with my mom and her husband, um, grandma and grandpa. Um, and then the second was spent in Lima, Peru, with Modi and Anat, and a community of beautiful people. And our third was spent in Singapore. How international is that? So anyway, happy Passover, happy Easter, happy Singapore, um, happy unplugged day. 
and uh, I may have a good one. Have any thoughts about keeping your kids unplugged? Let me know. I'd love to hear. All right, bye.